was sewing tutorial on the trouser. Now the sewing tutorial on this trouser, it's not something like this ad. It's just logic joining, just join and join and off you go. So this is our pattern. This is our pattern. The front and our back. So the first thing we are going to do, you can start with any one of your choice. But I will be starting with my front first. I'm starting with my front first. So this is my two front panel. This is my two front panel. So I'll be starting with it first. I'll be joining So I'll be joining the front panel. So I'll be joining it by the coach depth. It's half an inch. So this is how it looks like after joining. And I'll pick my back panel. My back panel. This is how it looks like after joining the back panel. So then we place the two panels together, the front and the back. Now at this area, you can determine where you want your zip to be. Do you like your zip to be at the back? If you want your zip to be at the back, there's no need of joining too much. You can just do a loose stitch. Or if you want your zip, your zip to be at the side, you can sew one side and leave the other side. While well, I let my zip in at the side, not at the back. So I'll pick one side of the trouser to determine where my zip will be. So but before then, remember at the back I have my darts for joining. I have my darts, I'll measure and see what I have if it is exactly my waist before joining. So, this is my waist. For the back, I have, after joining, I have about, I have 16 inches. Remember, I need that at the back. So, what I'll do, since I didn't mark it for my pattern, so what I'll do, since I didn't mark it for my back pattern, for my pattern, I'll measure. So I make it of four inches for my dart. Measure four inches. Determine the length of your choice. You use any length of your choice for your dart, but it does not exceed more than four to five inches. So I'll do the same thing to the other side.